Goose, and welcome to Spawn Point Scoop. This week on the show, hackers, gaming goes to Wall Street and Broadway, plus Bajo and Rad join me to get excited about all things E3. All aboard the hype train. Choo choo. Actually, we take a plane, not a train. It would take forever on a train. Plus, you know, the ocean. But now, to the news. <laughs> And first up, some ingenious hackers have found a way to run custom mods on Super Mario World cartridges. Using a special glitch, they could access parts of the game's memory and load a special hex editor onto it, allowing them to edit the game and even make their own mods. For example, they can instantly finish any level or give Mario any power-up, while one user has made a mod that gives Mario telekinetic powers. Amazingly, it all works on off-the-shelf cartridges and consoles, and the mods are saved to the cartridge so they can be played on any console. And next up, you may have heard of Twitch Plays Pokemon. Well, now Twitch is playing the stock market. Yes, the popular game streaming service is currently hosting StockStream, which describes itself as the world's first cooperative multiplayer stock market game using real money. It was developed by a man called Mike, who invested 50,000 US dollars out of his own pocket for the game. It lets users vote on whether to buy or sell certain stocks, and then every five minutes, based on the votes, a trade is made. Buy high, sell low, that's my motto, I think. And finally, the excellent gaming documentary King of Kong, A Fistful of Quarters, is being turned into a stage musical. The 2007 documentary followed the journey of Steve Wiebe and Billy Mitchell as they attempted to beat each other to the highest score in the original arcade version of Donkey Kong. Now the film's director, Seth Gordon, has revealed it will soon be getting adapted into a song-filled stage show. Will audiences go ape for this Donkey Kong sing-along? Only time will tell. Well, that's the news. Time for a roundtable chat. Bajo Rad, get in here! All right, guys, heading down to the roundtable on three, two, one, go! Oh, uh, where's Bajo? Oh. Come on, Bajo! No, I changed my mind. This is much higher than I thought it was. Oh, you can do it. I believe in you. Yeah, we can't start without you. Okay, fine. Oh, 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 I made it! I made it! You're off target a little. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> All right, well, while you get ready, we should have our talking topic ready because, guys, it's almost that time of the year again. <gasps> Christmas! Uh, not quite, Rad. It's almost time for E3. Gaming, Gaming Christmas! Christmas! That makes more sense. Yes, it's almost time for the Electronic Entertainment Expo over in the USA. Now, for anyone who doesn't know what E3 is, it's essentially where all the games companies get together to show off their new hardware and their new games, and it's where all the gaming journalists from around the world come to get a hands-on, get the news and the latest scoop. Yes, and not only do you get to see the games before they're finished, you even get to play some of them, which is amazing. Rad, this is the first time you're going. Are you excited? No, I'm so excited. I've always <laughs> seen E3 streams and things like that. Always wanted to go. And now I finally get to. Um, but both of you have been before. What should I expect? What should I prepare? Ah, lots and lots of questions. You have to do your research about any games that are coming out and ones you think might be coming out or getting sequels. Learn lots of questions. Yes, and it's also a, a lot to do in a very short amount of time. So you've got to have a very tight schedule. And you've got to know where to be and what to do. Fortunately, I'll be coming along as well to look after you. Actually, you can probably look after me, but there's just <laughs> heaps to do and a lot to be excited about. So guys, what are the main things you're excited about hopefully seeing this year? Mm, well, definitely the new announcements. You know, there's always big surprises, games you didn't expect, but especially Microsoft are launching a new super version of the Xbox One called the Scorpio, which is going to be the most powerful console ever made. So I'm keen to see what that looks like and how it plays. It's always hardware with you, isn't it? Well, you know, hardware <laughs> powers the games to make the games run and look better and it gives developers more opportunity to design new things That's when they have true. more hardware. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. I'm really looking forward to just getting back on the show floor because it's such an amazing area to experience and you'll find this out. They change it every year. There's just so much to see and do and there's just a lot of people as well. So it's exhausting, but it's just heaps of fun. So well, yeah. I'm excited for the games. I mean, that is what E3 is all about. So I'm excited to see what new things that they're bringing out, what sequels are coming. Particularly, I'm excited for Just Dance. I'm excited to see how they change it because, you know, they've been kind of the same for a little while. But mm -hmm. I really like those games and I, I want to see what new things that they bring out. I think they usually have a big stage that everyone's dancing on, so maybe you can mm. get up there, do have a dance. They'll let me? Do you I'm think sure they'll, they'll, they'll let you. Dance in fact, let's make yeah. it a mission now that we're going to get you up on the Just Dance Except stage. I think they usually have like people in mascot outfits. Let's I'm get you scared of into mascot a mascot outfit. outfit as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Bajo, what about you? What games are you looking forward to hopefully mm. hearing about? Well, I know that Toe Jam and Earl is going to be showcased there, and it's, ah. a, it's a remake of the, or a reboot of the original game, and it looks almost identical to the original but with updated graphics, which I'm fine with, so I'm very excited about playing that. Do you think that game will have aged?
aged well? Could it be remastered? You know, I played the original not too long ago and it was still super fun, but very, very difficult. Yeah, well, a lot of those older games were, so maybe it's perfect time for it. I think so. Perfect. Well, no surprises about what I'm excited to see, which is, of course, a new Mario game on the Switch. I think we've all hung out to see a new Mario game. It's been a long time. And the best part, he's got a new hat. Such innovation. <laughs> it's style. Well, we're expecting that and many more cool announcements at E3 this year. And if that all sounds great, then the coolest part is that you guys can come along with us because we'll be bringing you a daily report right from E3 all of next week. Yes, and you can catch those on the ABC Me app and on iView. I also heard a rumour that you will be doing some live streaming. Yes, we'll be doing a live stream from one of the big events next Wednesday. Oh, but more details on that later. Mm -hmm. And of course, all of that on top of our regular Spawn Point episode. Guys, there's heaps of stuff we'll be covering. I'll yeah. be honest, I'm already exhausted. Yeah, me too, and I'm not even going. In fact, I'm going to have a little nap, I think. Yeah. It's a pre-E3 nap. Mm. Get hyped, Good guys. Idea. I'm excited! Mm. Excited! E3! Guys! Guys! Wake up! Thanks for the chat, guys. I'm getting really excited now. Before we go, let's take a look at some artwork, which this week comes from seven-year-old Duncan. He's combined some digital media with crayon on paper to create this excellent portrait of Skylander Kingpin. Great work, Duncan. Keep that artwork coming in, guys. Well, that's the scoop for this week. Until next time, goose out. All right, time to pack for E3. I need my suitcase, my pyjamas, handheld gaming. Red, have you seen my switch? No.